As we all know, normal distribution is one of the most famous distributions in statistics. So most of the machine learning algorithms, especially linear models, they are based on the assumption of normality. In this section, we are going to see how can we test for normality in our data set. So the most famous test for normality is Kolmogorov and Shapiro Wilkes test. But for data sets of 2000s or larger, Kolmogorov is most suitable. However, for data sets that are not that big, Shapiro Wilkes test for normality is the most suitable. Let us head over to SAS to see how can we use SAS procedures to test for normality. Oh, normality assumption. How can we validate normal distribution in our data set? How can we make sure that our data set follows a normal distribution? Well, normal distribution is a widely known distribution in statistics. And most of the algorithms, they assume that the data follows normal distribution. So how can we make sure that our data follows normal distribution? Well, the most famous test that you can use is a Shapiro-Wilkins test or a Kolmogorov test. But let us see how can we do that in SAS. SAS provide a procedure univariate that can enable us to do normality, normality test. So, proc univariate. And our data. Right. Because we want to perform normality test, we have to specify this option test. Normal. Sorry, normal. So, as you can see here, it's request test for normality. So that is what we want. We want a test for normality. So I'm just going to copy the independent variables. And we are ready to run and interpret. So, there is, there is a lot of tables when we're using PROC univariate. However, this is our interest test for normality table. So, let us interpret. We know, according to SAS manual, that if the sample size is over 2000, the Kolmogorov test, this test, should be the one that is used. However, in our case, we simply just took a small data set. So the Shapiro test is the best to use. So the Shapiro test is test the hypothesis. So the null hypothesis is that the data is normally distributed. So let's see what can we say from the given result. Looking into the results, we can observe that the p-value, we will use the p-value. So the p-value has a 5% level of significance compared to 0.05. This p-value is less than 0.05. And we will reject the null hypothesis of normality. And what can we conclude using Shapiro-Wilkes test? We can conclude that there is sufficient evidence to suggest that our data is not normally distributed. That is what Shapiro Wilkes test tells us. We look at the p-value, we can see that this p-value is less than 0 0.05. So we reject the null hypothesis of normality. So we can also see that 
There might be some redundancy in our data set that might be caused by unusual observations, which is why when, when we continue, we are going to see how can we detect outliers in influential observations in SAS.